recent remarks out of the Federal Reserve, what they have indicated will be likely pointing towards a fourth stimulus check. Today in this video, we have got all the important details for $1,400 fourth stimulus check with the period of recession in the year 2023. I have got all the important details, everything you need to know right here in this video. So without further ado, let's discuss all the important details all right guys so this is a very important concern right here into the community whether are we going to receive fourth stimulus check on a federal level or not definitely the signs of the recession are coming in just right around the corner and right now federal reserve has noted some of the important points which basically pointing towards a mild recession i'll get to that in a moment what they are saying but i wanted to discuss today the second half of the 2023 and some of the recent remarks of the Federal Reserve where they have indicated there will be likely a mild recession which will be coming in little bit this year and how this could translate into another round of stimulus check or more money in your pocket as a social security SSI, SSTI, VA, survivors, people on retirement, RRB, basically low income, fixed income beneficiaries. Let's check it out all the details. All right guys, so in the last year Federal Reserve has issued aggressive interest rate hikes that will have a major impact major effect on economy in the second half of the year 2023 now what does this mean this could lead to a mild period of recession but the positive news is that it may also mean more money in your pocket in the form of stimulus check now speaking about the upcoming recession in the second half of the 2023 and what could it mean for all of us as we all know every recession over the past 22 years have clearly provided us with stimulus check so it's very important to understand what will happen this time around. As per the latest report, Federal Reserve recently indicated that we may experience a mild period of recession and now this may sound like a good news for all those social security, low income fixed income beneficiaries but actually it's quite concerning. Federal Reserve knows that if they admit they are going to experience a bad period of recession then it could cause a very bad panic, chaos right here into the stock market, right here into the economy and you know what, that's the very important reason federal reserve have to be very careful with their language that's why they are basically stating that it could be a mild period of recession that is coming in now despite the feds indication of the mild recession i have been researching and you know what this is a very deep topic and i have been researching into it and i believe that actually we should be experiencing a more severe period of recession not just a mild recession i have looked into a couple of more data sources multiple sources looking into economic data, CPI numbers and all the evidences are basically pointing towards a more severe recession. So what does it mean for us? Well, it means that we need to start preparing now for the potential recession. We need to start saving more money and building up our financial security. So we should look into the ways to diversify our income streams. It's very important to take the right step as of right now so you can better manage the future financial conditions, whether it will be a mild or a severe period of recession. We should be up and ready for the upcoming recession now talking about the possibility of the recession in the second half of the 2023 however guys i have been researching into this matter for months and all signs are clearly pointing towards a recession which will be happening around second half of the 2023 now we have already seen a huge corporation laying up hundreds and thousands of people the unemployment rate is holding steady and the consumer spending is cutting back housing market is also dipping in many areas and all of these are clearly the signs pointing to a possible recession. Now in the event of the recession, people need to be prepared. This means that saving up more money as much as you can in case of the job losses or other financial hardship. And this is also important to have an emergency fund set aside for unexpected expenses. It's essential to have a budget in place. This will help you stick to your financial goals and not fall into the trap of overspending. Make sure to keep track of your income and expenses so you always know where your finances stand and keeping eye on any latest news related to economy the stimulus check this will help you stay ahead of the potential changes and be prepared for what's coming on your financial doorstep now let me give you some of the insight into the possibility of recession in the second half of 2023 now what you can expect in the event of a recession the most important indicator of the health of the economy is unemployment rate when unemployment rate rises this is a sign that 
that economy is clearly slowing down. In the period of recession, government will usually pass a package of stimulus check to quickly help out the economy, quickly help get the money into economy quickly. And this could be in the form of stimulus check for the people, grants, probably loans, guaranteed income programs, UBI programs. And this could be another event of federal port stimulus check. Now in the year 2020, Congress has passed several stimulus packages. The first one, the CARES Act provided $2.3 trillion and just a few months later, they have passed another $1.9 trillion package. So in total, over $6 trillion was printed and put back into the economy in just about a year and a half. Now this could be the reason why we saw the sum of the inflation during that time. Now talking about the stimulus check and their impact onto the economy, as we all know, the large amount of money has been printed in the United States over past 18 months and this could be the reason why we are seeing the inflation. But what does this have to do with the stimulus check? Well, stimulus check is a way for government to help economy recover quickly. When unemployment rate is high and businesses are struggling, the government will basically give out people bonuses in the form of stimulus check and the idea is pretty simple. They will hand over money, the stimulus money to the people and people will go and spend the money into the economy which will help the economy as a whole. But government is clever. Government knows that people will likely spend more, actually more than the amount of the check. So let's say if someone gets $1,000 stimulus check, in this case, they might end up spending something like $1,500, $1,300. The same is true for this kind of a stimulus check. You know what? The government knows that people will likely spend more than amount of the check. So the bottom line is stimulus check may help quickly recover over the economy but in the long term effect the long term effect are still unclear we need to keep close eye on economic conditions and the second half of the 2023 now speaking of the economic situation in second half of the 2023 as we all know pandemic has had a huge impact on global economy governments around the world have responded by sending out stimulus check to the citizens in order to help stimulate the economy now these stimulus checks are a very effective way to getting money into the economy quickly and spend it across different industries and different businesses. But in order to ensure that stimulus check having a positive impact on the economy, it's very important to watch economic data very very closely. We might need to pay attention to things like unemployment rate, inflation, the job loss, job creation. This data will basically give us an insight, the indication on how much stimulus checks are expected, also how stimulus checks are affecting the economy. And this is especially important in the second half of the 2023 as global economy is expected to rebound. Keeping eye on the economic data will help us ensure that recovery remains on track and keeping eye on the data could give us a valuable insight into effectiveness of the stimulus check and overall health of the global economy. So that's why these economic factors are very important assessing stimulus check and its status. Now first, let's take a look at the issue of the inflation. Now inflation is a very important economic indicator. It's something that we need to be keep eye on. But unfortunately, the current economic situation is not based on the needs of the people, even though it would be nice if that was. Recently, Federal Reserve has made comments that a mild period of recession may be coming later this year. However, they likely won't be saying in a such a direct language that a very deep period of recession is coming in as they basically don't want to cause massive panic, massive chaos right here into the economy, stock market. That being said, if they acknowledge, if the Federal Reserve acknowledges there is a deep period of recession, then we can definitely take it as a signal that one stimulus check should be coming in, but we really don't know how large it would be and when it will be coming in. As you may already know, some economists are predicting that that recession is already on its way. We won't know the severity of the recession until it actually happens. But we can all agree that it will be a likely a cause of a concern. One thing to keep in mind though, next year is an election year. That means Congress will be fantastically searching for ways to pass various sort of a stimulus packages, help out people, bills related to all those stimulus packages right before the recession. So it's very important to note that political campaigning will start far in advance 
loss of the actual election date. And typically this is the great opportunity for all those Americans. One possible solution is a stimulus check. It could be seen as a way to appeal to the people that could help improve the economy. And it's just right before the election. That's where lawmakers, Congress love to pass those bills, those beneficial bills, stimulus packages. But here's the thing. Of course, this is all speculation. Only time will tell the actual outcome of the recession what it will be however the recession is will be going to live through it but here is the thing to make our lives simple congress needs to understand needs to do something for the people who are in the need specifically for the low income fixed income beneficiaries those households those are living below the federal poverty level those are the ones who are really struggling and have been struggling for years and congress should help out these group of beneficiaries first of all so what will happen in the half of 2023 well we don't know how bad the recession will be but but I'll keep you posted on that. So make sure to hit that like, share this video, subscribe to our channel. And this is Kedar from How To Guys. See you in the next video.